Hey everybody, this is Roblox. Welcome back to the Defense Channel. Today we're going to be taking a brief look at India's aircraft carriers. Now, each ship really deserves its own video, so I won't go too far in depth with this video, but let's get started. The first aircraft carrier to serve in the Indian Navy was a Majestic class light aircraft carrier originally laid down as HMS Hercules for the Royal Navy in World War II. The ship was about 75% complete at the end of the war and construction was put on hold. India purchased the ship from the UK in 1957. The ship was then towed to Harlan and Wolfe in Belfast to be finished. The Indian Navy requested several design changes including an angled flight deck, steam catapults, and modifications to the island. The ship was 700 feet long and displaced 16,000 tons. It is rumored that decommissioned trolley buses were taken aboard to test the catapults on the return trip to India. The ship was commissioned into the Indian Navy on March 4, 1961. The ship participated in several actions, including the annexation of Goa, but soon developed cracks in her boilers. As replacements were not domestically available and new units had to be shipped in from the UK, the ship was seriously limited in the support it could provide during the Indo-Pakistani War of 1971. The boilers were fixed during an overhaul from 1979 to 81, and Vicrant was eventually outfitted to operate sea harriers. The catapults were removed and a ski jump was added. The ship made its final deployment in November of 1994 and soon after had an accident involving fire. The ship was laid up in reserve and formally decommissioned on January 31st of 1997. Following its decommissioning, the Indian government had plans to operate the ship as a museum, and from 2001 to 2012 it did so until it decided that it didn't want to pay for it anymore. There were attempts to further preserve the ship as a museum, but it was eventually cut up in the beginning of November of 2014. India's second aircraft carrier was also built in the UK and commissioned into the Royal Navy as the Centaur class aircraft carrier HMS Hermes in November of 1959. She notably served as the flagship of the Royal Navy's task force during the Falklands War in 1982 and was decommissioned from active duty in 1985. In April of 1986, Hermes was towed from Portsmouth Dockyard to Devonport to be refitted, reactivated, and sold to India. India purchased the ship in 1986. The ship then underwent extensive upgrades at Devonport Dockyard in the UK. Upon entering service with the Indian Navy, she had a relatively quiet career, save from an accident when the Prime Minister at the time allegedly used the ship to take them on a vacation, although this allegation was later refuted. In 1993, the ship's engine room flooded and she remained out of service until 1995. Soon after, the Indian Navy spent a bunch of money upgrading various systems on the ship, expecting its service life to last until 2020. However, due to the cost of maintaining such an old ship, the Indian Navy decommissioned Virat on March 6, 2017. After several attempts to save Virat as a museum, she was towed to the scrap breakers at Alang in September of 2020. After she arrived at the breakers, one last attempt was made to purchase the ship. However, it mysteriously ended up getting cut into pieces during the middle of the negotiations. INS Vikramaditya is a unique, one-of-a-kind modified aircraft carrier. The ship was originally built as a Kiev-class heavy aircraft carrying cruiser and commissioned into the Soviet Navy in 1987 as Baku. After the fall of the Soviet Union, the ship was renamed Admiral Gorshkov. After the fall of the Soviet Union, the ship was renamed Admiral Gorshkov. The Russian Navy decommissioned the ship in 1996, and India purchased it in 2004 after literally years of negotiations. Russia was then to convert the Kiev-class ship into a true Stobar carrier fitted with a ski jump in place of the forward-mounted armaments. After many delays, Sevmas Shipyard finally completed sea trials and turned the ship over to the Indian Navy on November 16th of 2013. This ship serves today as the flagship of the Indian Navy. The last ship on our list in active service today is the new INS Vikrant, which is India's first domestically designed and built aircraft carrier. She was built entirely in India using domestically produced steel and modern modular construction methods. The ship is named in honor of the previous INS Vikrant, which we mentioned at the beginning of the video. To me, 
Vikrant personally looks like a smaller version of the Royal Navy's Queen Elizabeth aircraft carriers, and although they have a single island. The ship's keel was laid on November 28th of 2009, and the ship was launched on August 12th of 2013. The ship underwent several sea trials and numerous delays, but was finally commissioned by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on September 2nd, 2022. India's second domestically built carrier is expected to displace around 65,000 tons and is rumored to be named INS Vishal. Construction has not begun yet, but the ship is expected to be of a catabar design and may feature electromagnetic catapults. Like I said, all of these ships deserve and eventually will get their own videos, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of India's history with aircraft carriers. This is Roblox with the Defense Channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.